The United States faces momentous health care challenges as boomers age. The sooner issues of access, cost, and quality are addressed, the better. A strong belief that nurses could be key in solving many of these problems inspired an initiative that supports efforts to transform nursing education. The Wyoming Center for Nursing and Healthcare Partnerships is one such effort. We hear now from the Dean of the Faye Whitney School of Nursing, Mary Berman, about how this opportunity affects Wyoming. What is the program about? Uh, we're working on a project called Renew, uh, which is short uh, for Revolutionizing Nursing Education in Wyoming. And we are working on a, a process in which we can streamline nursing education so that a student could start at a community college, any community college in the state, and end up at UW finishing up with a bachelor's degree in nursing. Um, so that's the focus of Renew. And why a bachelor's in nursing? Why is there, that so important? Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. What we have seen in the state is an increasing demand for nurses with bachelor's degrees. And part of this comes about because of some studies that have been done over the last couple decades. One of the most um, well-known studies is done by a nurse called Linda Aiken um, in Pennsylvania. She did a very interesting study using a very big database and showed that actually in hospitals that had a higher percentage of their nurses with bachelor's degrees, their surgical mortality and morbidity was lower. So fewer, fewer patients had complications during surgery and fewer patients died after surgery. The more you had bachelor's degree nurses within that institution. So this is really across the country, but even in Wyoming, fueled an increasing demand for nurses with bachelor's degrees. Um, in Wyoming, we're somewhat unique, only having one university. Uh, most states would have multiple, but in Wyoming, we only have the one, and that creates some sort of interesting opportunities and challenges. We're not big enough to really meet the demand for bachelor's degree nurses around the state, so what Renew does is really partner us with the community college nursing programs. It sounds like that a lot of community colleges, more nursing programs will be enlarged, and therefore a larger input of nurses nursing students coming Good question. Here? Probably not necessarily enlarged, but it does give them a much more streamlined process to the baccalaureate um, level. Okay. That's probably the bigger piece of it than increasing the size of their programs. We're still somewhat limited in Wyoming in terms of clinical education. Most of our hospitals are not real big. So increasing the size of our programs can be challenging just because there's not enough sites for those students to get the kind of clinical education that they need. So this is more focused on quality um, bachelor's education than increasing numbers of nurses. It will clearly increase the number at the bachelor's level, but maybe, maybe not at the associate degree level. Um, well, it makes me think, how does this then affect the nursing program itself here at UW? Um, in a lot of ways, yeah. It, it could have a significant impact, us on, uh, impact on us at UW. Uh, we will see more and more students coming through wanting that bachelor's degree. So we're going to have that year in which they get that extra stuff that I talked about. We'll need to make that accessible to students um, through online and other sorts of distance uh, more ta more. more mortalities, <laughs> distant modalities, so that they can, you can take that anywhere in the state of Wyoming. Now we already are, what we have in place is called RNBSN, um, and that program we've used online a whole bunch. So this will not be a major transformation for us. We, we're able to do that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, well, I think about the pr importance of nurses in Wyoming, mm -hmm. a small, a rural state. Mm -hmm. How will this program help Wyoming healthcare. I think it should have a huge impact on Wyoming and I think those who are participating and I, I didn't mention it earlier but all the community colleges are involved that have a nursing program. Uh, Eastern does not have a nursing program although they've actually been involved and engaged in the process as well. So all the community colleges are involved and they are really pushing this because they really see advantages for their students and then ultimately that broader impact on health care in the state of Wyoming. As you can tell from the study that I talked about earlier, if we increase that portion of nurses with bachelor's degrees, we're going to impact the quality of care across the state of Wyoming in, in hopefully fairly significant ways. And I think that's the exciting part of Renew. And the community colleges get fired up about that. I think the hospitals, we've tried to engage hospitals, public health, long-term care from across the state. They're really excited about that piece of it. How can we make nursing even better? We've got good nursing in the state. 
but we could even take it much, much further. And that makes sense when you think about it. The complexity of patient care is getting, well, more and more complicated. Um, you know, patients, when I went through nursing school a long time ago, our critical care units are like what a medical surgical unit is now. Um, we ha with the kind of care we can provide, with the kind of illnesses that patients have, being a nurse is a complicated position to be in. So having this outreach of bachelor's education should really have a significant impact on the state of Wyoming, I think. Um, that's, that's great to hear. And um, we were talking a little bit earlier about the Affordable Health Care mm -hmm. Act and uh -huh. how many more uninsured, now uninsured people will be insured. Is that an impact you're going to see here in Wyoming with a small population? Absolutely. Uh, Wyoming, like every other state, um, will have a, a group of people who have previous to this been uninsured and now are insured, either through the exchange or if we expand Medicaid, either through the Medicaid expansion. Um, and it's unclear that we have the health care that we need in place in order to take care of those new people coming into the system who just now have insurance. And I think nurses will be a key piece of that. Some of these will be patients who, again, come in with pretty complicated health histories. Um, and navigating that complicated world of health care is not easy. If you've had a significant illness, you understand how it's confusing. Who do you go to for this? How do I get to this place in the hospital? Who will take care of me when I get home? We're going to need nurses, probably social workers and others, who really can help patients navigate complex health care systems. Um, so I think it will impact nurses that way. We'll clearly see, I think, over time, a continuing increased demand for nurses who are advanced practice nurses or nurse practitioners who can play vital roles in primary care. That's not a specific part of Renew, but it is certainly something coming out of AACC that we really need to pay attention to as well. We've got to build up that primary care system. And there will be nurses playing that role of navigator within that system, but also nurses playing the role of, uh, you know, again, coming in as a nurse practitioner into that system as well. Um, well, thanks, Mary. Thank you for being part of our program. And You're welcome. What an interesting topic. Thank you.